Well, the world's coolest scientist is here. Dr. Carl, big round of applause for him, please. <laughs> Thank you. Now, you have written your 40th book. Yes, 40th is Tell great. me about it. Um, it's got stuff you should know, like about Bitcoin and gravitational waves, and it's got fun stuff, like, for example, why a dog tilts its head when you look at it. Oh, why? Okay, look, make a fist, Lisa, and then put the fist on your nose like this. Now, can you see my mouth easily? Yes. Mm, but really? How about now? If I put it really, really yeah. on my nose, okay, no, now, I can't. Okay, now tilt your head. Can you see it more easily? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the dog tilts its head so it can see your mouth, so it knows whether you're seeing nice things or bad things to it. So that's one little thing in the book. And that's also cute. how there's a, a jellyfish that's immortal. And you know how a party, you can tell um, when a party ticks, kicks off, when the noise level starts to go up. It turns out that the alcohol makes both men and women slightly deaf, but it makes the women more deaf than the men. Huh? Right. <laughs> Yeah, so that's why the noise level comes up, because you're thinking, I'm not talking loudly enough, so I'll talk louder so I can get feedback. OK, so lots of fun facts and huh? some fun experiments to show us this morning. What have you got this morning? Um, you've oh. got instant ice cream. Instant ice cream. So over here we have the mixer and I have my fabulous assistant, who is actually the, the, the head chef and everything. How does the kitchen big? Kiriakin. Kiriakin. And Good here morning. we go. Good morning. So here we go. So, so what's we're, that? We're, we're pouring liquid nitrogen into this and we are going to make... That's about right, yep. Q? So we are going to make something that has a deep religious philosophical import. Now think about coffee. Coffee is the world's most popular legal drug mm -hmm. and the active ingredient in it is called caffeine and caffeine is a vasoconstrictor. It closes your blood vessels, oh, yeah. it raises the pressure and its chemical formula is 137 trimethylxanthine. The point is it's, got th it's a chemical with three methyls. Now the stuff in chocolate, we have chocolate over here and chocolate the active stuff is called theobromine. Now think about that, theobromine, theology, God, bromine, ah. drink. Of course. Th yeah, of course. You made that link the yeah, other night. Yeah. Well, obviously, ch ch chocolate is the drink of the gods and the yeah. chemical theobromine that's in there is almost identical to caffeine. It's lost one of the methyl groups. So instead of being 137, it's 37. There's this incredible coincidence, but I don't think it's a coincidence. I don't, I don't think, think it's a so coincidence either. that they're... Because it's also a vasodilator. It opens the blood vessels. One closes, one opens. And th what this does is prove two things. One, it proves that God exists, tongue-in-cheek. Yes, in cheek. see you, and, Yeah, and number two, and number two, it proves that when God says that whenever you have a coffee, you should have chocolate with it. Oh, oh I'm so religious. Oh, yeah, right. See? And here we have the fabulous ice cream. Oh, look at that. So he's tipping in some more. Where so this do you is a get special that stuff flavor. from? This is from N2, your fabulous shops that you make. So N2 has made up this special God Exists chocolate just for, to celebrate the launch of my yeah. new book. And it has various things in it like marshmallow and essence of chocolate and cacao and chocolate buttons and, mar and, and, and special sorts of caffeine as well. well so stuff, is it possible it? to make this at home? Can kids Ooh. do this at home? Liquid nitrogen? You can't, it, oh. you can't get liquid nitrogen easily, can you? Not yeah. that easily. No. What well, would happen if Lisa put her hand in there? Uh, the machine well, is moving and it would be very messy. Oh. However, Kiri is going to pull all that stuff out for us in a can little we? while. Yep. And he's going to make something for us. I need to worship this. Oh, you're talking my language. Oh, it's rock hard, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Mate, we're dealing with... This man we'll get, We can let him keep going on okay. that. Well, why don't you keep going on yep. that and do the ice cream. Yep. We'll You've go got on. another experiment, experiment involving yeah. honey. Yeah, and this one is so complicated that I've been having a discussion with a Nobel Prize winner who says, how does it work? Now, here's honey. Now, the centre of gravity is directly above the... the is, is downhill, sorry, the point of contact. Yeah. So there's a force that makes it go that way. Yeah. And look, it just rolls. Yeah, yeah. that makes it rolls, sense. Right? Rolls downhill. Yeah. Now, here we have these ping-pong balls. That's that, an unusual honey. It's a very yes. unusual honey. And these Can shift the centre of gravity. Now, I'm going to shift over here. So the centre of gravity is no longer dead above the point of contact. It's actually uphill. So if I have it right, because there's an air bubble, we think that's why it doesn't no. roll downhill. We think, we're not sure, we're not sure. So Brian Schmidt and I, the Nobel Prize winner who discovered 70% of the universe, yeah. big deal, um, he is saying... Is it rotational moment of inertia? Is it the difference between the line of contact and the centre of gravity? I think so. And we're still thinking about it. Like, for example, we don't even know Ooh. why the moon is bigger on the horizon. Yes. When it comes oh, to the horizon. Oh, yeah, that's, we still don't that's know that. freaky the way it yeah, does that. It is real. Oh, my heavens, look at this. Fabulous N2 ice cream. You've got the little spoony Just things. Just over here, the spoons. Yep. These are little yeah, spoons. Are. Given to you in a sterile, non-touch fashion. thank you. There you are. Sterile, non-touch fashion. And so this has got not just coffee, 
but chocolate as mm. well, thus proving oh. that we are a truly Get religious people. That's really good. Fabulous. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Carl. Mm.